The Northern Territory is synonymous with a range of deadly creatures that sting and bite and go snap. But to my relief, I'm here in the tiny town of Batchelor to meet a man whose passionate pursuit is much more up my street. Chris Horn left the cold of England to set up a unique way of life in the warmth of the Territory's top end. That's why they call me Butterfly Man. Chris has established a farm that specialises in one of the world's most delicate and beautiful insects. So who's the intelligent animal on the planet? That's what I ask people. A butterfly that makes love, flies around, looks beautiful, and has been around since the dinosaurs, or a human that has uh, invented work and money and, uh, you know, hardships. Oh, my mum, she always said go back to Australia, start a farm, but I don't think she actually meant a butterfly farm. I think she might have meant cows or something like that, you know. <laughs> but cows are smelly, butterflies are beautiful. Let's visit the most famous mine of them all, Rum Jungle. Here at Rum Jungle, work never stops. Bachelor became famous after the Second World War when uranium was discovered nearby. The Rum Jungle uranium mine spearheaded the uranium boom of the 1950s and 60s. Since mining ended in 1971, Bachelor has continued on in its own quiet way as a centre for tourists heading for Litchfield National Park. It's a beautiful little town. It's a very friendly, beautiful little town. Everybody's quite closely knit together. Chris has travelled many surprising paths on his way to Bachelor. Well, I came across into Australia to join the army. And you can do the right thing, keep with the family and all that lot. My granddad's been knighted by the king and my mother was in the WAF. I think her father might have been in the army and so you followed the line. But I met a man who was a boss of a big construction place and he said to me, do you want a job putting up scaffold? So when I went out there, they were paying me $500 a week and giving me an air ticket back to England every three months. So I never went back into the army then. So it doesn't matter how much money you have, you spend it. It's just a waste of time chasing it all the time. I just thought I'll do this instead. And it's a lot more homely. You can see your children more, see your girlfriend more, and take life quite relaxed. Although Chris now enjoys a very different kind of life, butterfly breeding still has its challenges. Why would you spend a month trying to breed butterflies when they only last three days? <laughs> Why would you? Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally confused. <laughs> and here they are, the little caterpillars. They grow 150 times their size in about 14 days. Growing very rapidly, as quick as, if you can imagine, a corgi dog turning into a buffalo in two weeks. When the butterflies hatch out, we take the boxes and we take them into the butterfly house. And what we do with them is we just put our fingers in front of them like that. As you can see, they're very beautiful. Can no. I try this one? Yeah, you try that one, right? Look. Very nice. And these are the orchards. This is a female orchard. In lots of cultures, Chris, they're considered to represent the dance of joy. In uh, Japan at the moment, what they do is they put them in a box and every morning before you go to work, you stick your hand in the box and it cleans your soul. Sometimes we've got a lot of butterflies, sometimes we haven't. It's nature. There's nothing you can do. You can only do your best to keep the people happy. A butterfly farm in Bachelor? It might sound crazy, but like so many things about Chris, once you get to know him, it actually makes perfect sense. Everybody says you're the butterfly. It's because I can't stop moving. I don't like stopping still too much. 